My experience, Americans do not want another massive land war. They do not want massive commitments of U.S. combat troops on the ground. Right. Uh, I believe that military force is a necessary component to defeat ISIS, which is why I asked the president to submit another AUMF. But military force alone is not going to be sufficient right. to provide the political and governance solutions that are necessary there. It may provide some space to enact reforms, but mm. there have to be involvement, commitment, engagement of our partners in that part of the world. Mike. Senator, when you're home in Connecticut this week, uh, I'm sure you pick up the vibe that uh, people, you've spoken to it already this morning, people are exhausted from the last 13, 14 years of war. We have an exhausted nation. We have an exhausted military because of the, uh, the wars we've been fighting. But isn't there an opening for someone, some public person, to speak to this country, or to speak to your state, to speak to your constituency about the fact that as long as we've been at war, we're going to be at a sort of war even longer down the road, five, ten years, because we're in an ideology that will not go away. There is a need to speak to the threats that exist in the world, and as a member of the Armed Services Committee, what I'm hearing is that this military is far from exhausted. We have tremendous resources. You know, I tend to describe this generation of military men and women as our next greatest generation. We ought to be very proud of them. They're far from exhausted. They're ready for this challenge. But it's not going to be the same challenge of massive numbers of U.S. combat troops on the ground. It's going to be the special operators, the special operations in these countries that provide intelligence, that protect American citizens, that enable the kinetic attacks and strikes, and that make sure that we're safe in the homeland. We tend to concentrate on what's going on in parts of the world whose names we can barely pronounce. But some of these threats are to our homeland, and our security people here have done some very, very good work in countering those threats. Of course, a lot of it is classified, a lot of it can't be discussed because when it's successful, it can't be made public. All right, I want to ask.